Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. The name of the book that we read and write is called Nature. The first chapter is called Water. Water is the protagonist of our story, but also its absence plays a major role. We were firing on all four cylinders today because we might get some rain next week and that will be the ideal opportunity to test our plans, our schemes, our projects regarding water and the culvert. So this culvert, the idea is for me to stick a pipe on in there, level, let it come out here, and then where Max is, I will continue with this um, canal. We have learned that we cannot control all the water in one channel. So here some water will go through to the old erosion canal, erosion galley. Also tomorrow we will seal this properly so that water can come into the swale and then I will devise something that water comes this way. So this is not too deep, it's not too big. We don't want too much water coming this way, but also this is just a test run. This is on contour and if it works, we can improve it. That's why it's so important for us to have some water before the non-rain season, the summertime, to see if it works. So here I have a more swale-like canal. Here I would like to have some more infiltration of the water already not just the transport of water and then we come to an interesting part so it's the first time I'm making a kind of canal on contour between all the trees so this is a tiny creek coming down here. So um, we encountered some roots of these big trees and uh, we had to neg uh, neg negotiate with the position. So what we do that is actually we just took away the soil underneath or widen this channel underneath the root like here that one we will still open and then it runs into another swell this one I made a little bit bigger. I will flatten the berm and plant some stuff here. This is an amazing spot should we be able to irrigate it. I am a little bit obsessed with uh, raisins, muscatel raisins. It would be nice to plant a few 
uh, vines here. One, two, three, four different swales, long swales. That will be great. And then uh, now and then a big rock. And then also uh, some clay, hard clay already. It's moist, but um, there are no teeth on the bucket of the excavator, so it just scrapes on top. That's also okay. I am not too worried about that right now. And then the idea is to let this taper down and then the water should flow here and then from there another swale right to those big trees and then it makes a u-turn and then it comes just above this big tree this way again that will be so spiff So back at the erosion gully, it used to be two meters deep, now it's about 50 centimeters, half a meter deep, and uh, topsoil all over, that's great. We have a little bit water here, so I'm actually waiting for the rain and we have lots of bird seed and flower seeds and lots of seeds I want to put in here and uh, the water can come down here but uh, controlled much less than before that is the idea I have also planted sorghum Sudan grass here but they should also get some water. In the past that side where the dogs are was actually cut off from this side because of this two meter gully. But now uh, it's much more accessible. It's now part of the farm. Great. The asparagus, most of them are growing. This is their second year. And most of them look like this already. So, do your thing. Next year, you are in our plates. We started clearing the swells from volunteer plants that offer their services to grow here and produce some mulch. We will now get our irrigation system installed and then have many other plants in between. Here we have a fig, moringa, uh, cape gooseberry, dead apple, fig, uh, palovnia, dead apple, and so it carries on, but not all the apples died. These we will swap for live ones. I just want to see if they really did in another two weeks or three weeks, then I'll decide. Here at the creek culvert, Things are also happening. I removed the old pipe installation and we have taken a lot of sand out of it. And then I opened this area here. And that black pipe will now go in here. I will build something with cement, stone. And then 
it should tap into that pipe existing pipe and then when I put this planks back here it's much easier for me to control because I don't have to negotiate with the pipe I have removed the cinder blocks here I want to see if I am able to raise this a bit and it's now full of half full of sand which is, it's, makes it extremely difficult to work with but uh, let's see because the water should go into the swale and then to the other end of the farm we cleared some more swells and then we planted some cactus here and there I'm looking forward to see how they grow here don't Luna there are thorns here at the lowest point of the land some more cactus and the volunteers planted them while the dogs were with me and the next morning in the dark when I was walking here I heard the dogs giving this kind of bark of there is an intruder and then uh, when I came here they were barking at this cactus so they didn't know this. I uh, chopped them down about a month ago. They have been lying in the sun and rain. Let's see what they do. Till next time. Goodbye.